Yeshua's moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Yes, brethren, we are back again on our program, The Pursuer's Moment. And as your, your servant on this program, I'm here back again. And I'm on your prayer site called Zion Pursuer's Prayer Mountain. I encourage you to come to this site and come and seek God. This is a site dedicated to nothing else but the pursuit of God. And uh, the ministry of the pursuers, uh, the call is basically to mobilize God seekers. We are not a church, but we are a parachurch movement that cooperates and that uh, mobilizes God seekers from all churches, people who want to seek God, who want to draw closer to God so that God becomes their hunger, their strength. During the last three days of December, 28th, 29th, and 30th, we are going to be camped here in a prayer and a fasting camp. So please, when you are coming, just come with your personal effects. We are not going to be eating. We'll be eating through the word. But then we shall have a break of the fast on the last day before we release you to go and join your church to open up the, I mean, to go into uh, the Passover uh, festivals as you enter the new year. But we want you to hear God speak. We want to, to see God dressing us up for year 2025. Every one of us, God has a word for you, but he will speak it to you when you come and draw closer to him. So yesterday we saw God asking Adam uh, in Genesis chapter 3 verses 11. Uh, and then uh, verses 12, God asking him verses 11, did you eat? Could you have eaten the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? Because when you eat of it, you don't need anyone to tell you that you're naked. You'll be able to feel it yourself. You'll be able to sense it yourself. Sin chases us away from the presence of God. A place of, a, a place of protection, a place of, of, of comfort, a place of favor, a place of blessing, a place of, uh, of everything good you would you'd think of. The, the sin chases us away. We do not, say, we do not see in the, in the scriptures that God chased away Adam because Adam had sinned. God does not chase us. And God expects us when we sin that we bear the right attitude. We come in repentance. He does not chase us away. It is us who chase ourselves away because of the conscience that comes to us that we have messed it up. But I want to encourage you, instead of running away from God, just run to God. Just tell God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, with that attitude of repentance. And God will be able to forgive you. God will be able to reunite you again. So when he asked him, could you have done it? Then verses 12, then, add, then the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. So instead of taking responsibility and the man saying, Lord, I'm sorry, I've messed it up. The man, he shifted the blame. Many times we shift blame and we think by doing so, we save ourselves. No, we, we have to take responsibility. Adam should have taken responsibility and says, Lord, I've messed it, I've messed it up. I'm very sorry. Remember, God had talked to Adam directly before Eve came and told him, please don't eat of that tree. Instead of Adam repenting before God, Adam shifted blame. And that's what we, we normally do. We shift blame. Many of us, when we, when we commit sin, we say, the devil has tempted me. The devil is a tempter. That is his work. But are we to fall into his temptation? We must resist temptation. We must be able to, to overcome temptation. Temptation will always be there, but we are meant to overcome temptation. So Adam, instead of shifting the blame to Eve, should have said, oh, my father, I messed it up. And if Adam had done so, God would have give, forgiven him right, right there and then. But because he said it is the woman. So don't shift blame. Don't point fingers. Don't think by associating your wrongdoing to somebody else that saves you. No. Adam should have said, I'm sorry, my father. I've sinned. And here I am. I pray that you forgive me. 
and that would have ended the, uh, the whole crisis. The story would have been different if Adam had done that. I want to tell you, my sister, my brother, who is running away, don't run away. Just say, Lord, I'm sorry. Just go to God and repent. God is very gracious. God is very merciful. You don't need to shift blame. You don't need to, to, to find an excuse. There is no excuse for sin. When we commit sin, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. We do not need to, sh to, to shift blame. You just need to admit and repent and God will forgive us. So I encourage you, let us not run away. Just come back to God and you say, Father, it has gone wrong, but I come to you and I ask you to forgive and he will forgive you. We begin from there tomorrow. <music> Eyo yeba de pasiwas moment ngikutusidwa ke somali ya pasiwas junior school eri sangibwa mubutambala kukubali ampiji gombe kati ulire nkize eriwo singo twa ro mwana okupasiwas junior school interview za bwedeli esomero limiride ku musinjo gutya katonda atengo mwana agunjulwa bakugu tutumbule bitone byenja ulu mwana tulina amaza mayunjo ku somero atengo mwana wasomera ne wiyebaka abanga mukungu india yaba yizi nunji byansoso anti emere tujirimira ngane famu yete weri ku somero tulina motoke zitambuza abana pasiwas junior school ebutambala Tuso mesaba no kufamu baby class Okutuka kuchivine cho musamvu Mudene bodingi Okumanye bisinga wo Zero musamvu musamvu bidi Ana muemu Chenda munana Ana Ne zero musamvu zero bidi Asatu mukaga Ana muemu Mkaga munya Pasio was junior school butambala In pursuit of knowledge